this is. <clears throat> I feel like we're really close to the camera, but that could just be an optical illusion brought on by autism. Um, aside, you know, if Triple H didn't come out at the end and throw Byron Saxton 35 feet, <laughs> I'd say this was the worst Raw of all time, but when a moment actually makes me laugh out loud, I can't say it's the worst Raw of all time. So it's the second worst Raw of all time, behind a list of shows that are all tied for... You know, the show starts with Triple H, and he says, Roman Reigns needs to learn his place. He needs to learn not to mess with the authority. He needs to learn to have respect. It's my least favorite type of promo. The respect promo. The, you have to respect the authority. He didn't show respect, so he's a, like, I, I hate that shit. I hate CM Punk and Paul Heyman for starting that. When they were in the worst manager wrestler pants. I don't get any respect. My client just said he doesn't get respect. So then that retard Ambrose comes out walking like a... Why is he coming out? Go away. I'm just so quirky, man. This is him mooching off Triple H because Lesnar didn't want to show up to give him time. Yeah. So he's holding the microphone like a faggot again because this is how he caresses Reigns' <laughs> penis. He's like, yeah. He's like, hey. <laughs> I just got off the phone with Roman, so I'm like, right, stop, right there, stop. If I was Triple H, I'd be like, you just got off the phone with Roman? Like, why is he talking to Roman Reigns in his spare time? The guy, why isn't he fucking Renee Young? So Go fuck Renee Young, okay? She's a rape victim. She needs love and comfort. Hello? She needs to know I it's not... Some dirty dates. She needs to know it's not her fault, even though it is, because it's always the woman's fault. But, like, why are you spending this time you should be... Can comforting your rape victim wife who was prong fucked by three black men. Instead, you're calling Roman Reigns on the telephone. Oh, Whatever. Crazy. He says that, oh, Reigns will be uh, coming back. He wants he wants to make sure you know that. Reigns was nowhere to be found tonight, by the way, so I don't know what the point of that was. It's quirky. Triple H basically calls him gay. He's like, hey, you should have won the Oscar for best bromance. Gay. <laughs> and you're driving a, a hybrid. Okay. Uh, Ambrose with his gay comb over. Quirky lives matter. You can see the spot where his hair starts growing through the comb over. He's not hiding anything. Why Terrible. does he do that? <sighs> That's the serial killer look. And not in like the scary way. It's in like a loser who lives in his mom basement way. <laughs> he tells him so, hey, uh, who did it? You want to win the triple threat match at Fastlane that everybody already forgot about. I had no idea what he was talking about. I was like, oh yeah, the reins. Okay. Triple H is like, <laughs> I wasn't afraid of you winning because you're a loser and you suck. <laughs> and then Ambrose gets all fake tough and he walks real close to him and was like, hey, can you see me now? Like, he didn't say he couldn't see you. He said you're a loser. What did somebody say? Can't see me? You can't see me, man. I'm too busy fucking chastity to lens. Asshole. <laughs> <sighs> so then he's like, Triple H, you, uh, you wouldn't want to face me. Why not? I'm crazy. You don't want to fight a crazy person. He's like, hey, Arnold, don't hit me. I'll hit me. I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so he then cuts a horribly long, horribly boring, poorly acted, garbage, shit trash promo about how Triple H is afraid of him. And then he says, oh, how, about, how about we have a title match right now? So then Triple H reminds him that he doesn't have booking power at all, but he'll take it under advisement and get back to you later in the night. I'll see if it's best for business. And then in the meantime, he sets up our main event. It's Dean Ambrose versus Alberto Del Rio in a singles match. See? That demoralized everybody watching because Why we knew... Why would you stay up past 11 to watch that? The three hours of time we were going to spend, the payoff is going to be to watch Del Rio versus Dean Ambrose. We should have stopped, but I kept on going. <sighs> A screen comes up that says, Stephanie McMahon, tonight. <laughs> She's on every fucking night. Who gives a shit? Maybe Shane will be there. You should have put up a screen that says, Stephanie McMahon, never again, and then you maybe you would have gotten some ratings. We get diva shit, and then we get a Wyatt promo. Boo! They say, come. Follow us, and if you don't, you'll end up like all the rest. Conquered! Did the definition of conquered change recently? Did it, does it now mean you're gonna kick my ass? The lions aren't scary. You might as well have said you'll be conquered, because they're like scary, unscary squirrels. You know, that game's rated M for mature. Really? That's yes. scarier than the Wyatts. But I'm fucking. What does this mean? You'll, you'll end up like all the rest. 
So that means you'll end up standing over them with your hand raised in victory while they're <laughs> bleeding all over, half dead, and they can't move because they just got their ass beaten so fucking badly in the most one-sided pay-per-view fight ever. It's not just that Wyatt loses every fucking match he's in. It's that it's always a one-sided beating. Destroyed. He gets, every match he had with Dean Ambrose was retarded. Every match with Ambrose was retarded. They got destroyed by Ryback, Big Show, and Kane. It's so awful! This is what John Cena does to people. We need him to come back and do this to AJ Styles. <laughs> Miz vs. Ziggler. You see why this was almost the worst Raw of all time? Why are the Miz and Ziggler working a program? Why is this happening? Who is... They do this shit... I feel like I have to say... This you gotta is two gayest fuckers! But I say that about these two all the time. Like, How many meaningless feuds are these two gonna have? Or would you want him to stop fighting Owens? I want him to leave the company. I don't care who he's fighting. I don't want him anywhere. <sighs> so then we get a complete recap of the Shane McMahon situation. And it's not more entertaining the second time. Why did you do this? Everybody saw it already. Ratings boost. <sighs> so then Stephanie comes out to accept the award while talking repeatedly about respect in the most boring, uninteresting way possible. <laughs> No one cares. Mexicans versus the League of Jobbers. Again. And why is Del Rio doing double duty? This is WrestleMania season. There should be a stacked card. Why are wrestlers pulling double duty? And why is it the boring Mexican ones? And why does Sheamus, his, his beard is out of control now? I'm sick of everybody. This isn't just a wrestling thing. It's more of a baseball thing, actually. Everyone growing these mountain man beards. <laughs> it's so fucking gay. It's not like when the, when the guy on the Giants did it, it was like, oh, that's funny, he's got a beard. And then when a setup man did it, it was like, oh, that's funny, they're the bearded guys. Now every fucking retarded baseball who can't hit or pitch, well, I'll get people to like me by growing a beard. Yeah! No, you're not the A's from the 70s. You're not cool. You look <laughs> retarded. You're hitting 240. You're not cool. <sighs> Sean Doolittle. Get, get the fuck out of here, Sean Doolittle. Get out of here, Josh Reddick. Get out of here, Dallas Keuchel. All of you people suck. Dallas Cockle. Cocksuckle. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> so then, here's the greatest segment I've ever seen. Renee's backstage with Natalia, and she asked her, So, Natalia, how do you keep looking so good? Oh, my God. So, Natalia... You look like Sasquatch! In her fucking man voice, reads a prepared statement from Subway. Well, I look good because Subway subs are only six dollars, and I eat them, and then I shove them up my asshole because I've gone so far with the testosterone that I'm now a homosexual man. With and Subway, you have, have it your way, so I have my pickles and special sauce up my poopy hole. We need to do more Natty videos. No one asks for them, so we should do more of them because, you know... <laughs> Um, oh, it's announced that Todd Crisley was in the crowd. So it couldn't have been a good show, no matter what they did, because this moron was... Ha! I swear... He's Lindsey Graham. I thought he was Nick Swardson. I thought this was a fake show. I thought it was a parody of reality shows. It turns out, it really is a reality show about some guy no one ever heard of. Class not ass. He really does sound like Lindsey Graham. <laughs> we need a strong We need a strong commander-in-chief who's not afraid to put troops on the ground on Pakistan, <laughs> in Afghanistan, in Mexico, <laughs> in Guam, in the United Arab Emirates, in Nigeria, <laughs> in the Central African Republic, in Zimbabwe. Uh, so Vince comes out and he says, I'm gonna teach Shane a lesson! Fuck my ass! That's why I get down and fuck my ass out! Yeah, now lick my balls! Yeah, lick my balls! <laughs> Wow, Mr. McMahon's a little angry. <laughs> Lick my balls! Yeah! Okay, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sexually frustrated Vince. Um, so then he says, He's gonna fight The Undertaker! So then The Undertaker... This was so fucking retarded. Words can't describe... WJ made a great video on it, but The Undertaker comes out. His big 45-minute entrance. <laughs> He gets in the ring, da, 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 pulls the hat off, da, 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 chokes Vince, and it's like he's choking him like this. He's literally not, he's like, Ugh. then he's like, you, you, you listen to me. 
the blood on my hands or it's going to be on your hands. <clears throat> and then he just leaves. <laughs> that was it. See you at WrestleMania. He walks out. He won't come back either. Well, that's it. You won't see him until WrestleMania. He walks out, tells Vince, I'm going to beat Shane and it'll be on your hands. And then he leaves. His entrance was longer than the amount of time he was in the ring. Then he leaves. Goodbye. At least we didn't have to deal with that shit of him looking at the sign like... Yeah. Like, I think Undertaker, wink wink, was in on the joke. He's lesnaring us. He's gonna go back and fuck Michelle McCool now. <laughs> yeah, this is me. Whatever. <sighs> so, the boring retards come out to no reaction, and then they're fighting the Dudleys, and somebody wins the match. I don't give a shit. We were supposed to care, but no one did. The boring retards are the Usos, by the way. Oh, we get R Truth and Goldust. This is WrestleMania season. Yeah. How many feuds were built? What happened tonight? What built towards WrestleMania besides Undertaker choking Vince? Yeah, let's Talk see. to me. Um, uh, Triple H and Ambrose doesn't build. That doesn't to build to all. anything. Um, Diva shit doesn't help. Uh, Wyatt cutting a promo, no. Miz and Ziggler, hopefully not, but probably. They'll probably be in a lot of matches towards they done. <laughs> um... Stephanie talking about Shane, sure, whatever. Mexicans versus League of Jobbers, we'll probably see that at Mania. But this isn't exactly a build, because no one's talking, and I don't know why they're fighting. Oh, he wants to get to Del Rio! I don't, I don't care. Uh, Ryback versus the Social Outcast, which I forgot to mention, because it's just so uninteresting. Wow, I, I just realized I skipped a bunch of stuff on here. I, how, I, how could I have skipped this? The New Day fought Chris Jericho and AJ Styles. <laughs> Aren't the, about my partner, AJ aren't the New Day fighting the League of Jobbers? Isn't that happening? They're fighting AJ Styles. The League of Booty! <laughs> so, um, what happened? Oh, yeah, somebody won the match. AJ Styles tried talking after the match and fucked up so bad, he literally handed the microphone over to Jericho. It's okay, buddy. I'll tell well, everybody about He was like, well, <laughs> now that we won that match tonight, he said that match tonight. The match that just happened. We won that match tonight. I think that puts us... On top of the list! What list? And then he just hands the microphone over to Jericho, who cuts the promo. Because he fucked up so royally. Let me tell you about what AJ was talking about. But anyway, I don't know if that sets up for me, and I don't really give a shit. Um, Todd Crisley, that sets up for me, right? R-Truth and Goldust, of course. And what happened next is a big mania setup. Kevin Owens vs. Big Show in a SmackDown rematch. <laughs> So five seconds into the match, something happened to Kevin Owens' penis, and he he lying down outside, groping himself, and then he got counted out. And Michael Cole screaming, "Oh, I just like what on SmackDown!" Like no one watched SmackDown. No one cares. No one understands this callback. No one no one cares about the repetition and the storytelling. That John, it's just getting retarded. Stop referencing SmackDown. Stop doing SmackDown. That's a better thing you can do. Why don't you cancel SmackDown? <laughs> oh, we get more diva shit. And then it's announced that the Freebirds are getting in the Hall of Fame. I don't care. <laughs> I don't want my daughter Googling Michael Hayes, so. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I don't like them. You know, oh, we don't, you don't like Terry Gordy? You don't know who Terry Gordy is, okay? <laughs> well, Terry Gordy's run as the Executioner is legendary. I love The Executioner. It's someone who read that The Executioner was a thing in a WWE encyclopedia and doesn't know that he was in one match. Oh god, The Executioner is my favorite wrestler. I love Terry Gordy and Michael Hayes and uh... I like WCW before the NWO. <laughs> I like uh, the other guy. I don't know his name, but I'm a real wrestling fan. Cause I, I named two of the Freebirds guys WCCW. I know the Fine Eric's. You're not cool because you pretend to know who the Von Erics are. You're not cool because you know Terry Gordy. WCW, before Bischoff ruined it with Nitro and the <laughs> NWO, was a great fed. If, if, you, if you're going to think you're think you're a hero because you know that Terry Gordy was the executioner, you really need to reevaluate your life. <laughs> um, what happened then? Oh, we got more diva shit after that announcement. How could I forget? Because 15 diva segments isn't enough. We need more. And then our main event happened. Um, it was boring. It went on for 45 minutes and no one cared. And it built to nothing. And Triple H came out. He told, Sick em, boys! So the, the League of Jobbers <laughs> just beat out Ambrose. And then he went in the ring and said, You just gotta respect authority! And then, Oh, he's defiant! Look at Ambrose! Defiant! He no-sells everything, but Smarks won't care when he does it. Triple H pedigrees in. Says, Hey, I accept 
your challenge for a championship match. And then Dean Ambrose, because he's really cool, says, oh, thanks. Thanks. He crawls over the microphone, doesn't pick it up, and just, oh, thanks. The, the big baby face here, instead of making the crowd go, yeah, they go, ha, ha. <laughs> so then uh, Amp uh, Triple H beats him up, and that's when he threw Byron Saxton, and he punched him on the table, because it hurts more when you're on the table and you're getting punched. Awful show. Garbage. The best thing we got out of this is that we did a review of it where I made Vince say sexual things in his angry voice. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah! Yeah, that's right! Fuck my ass! Lick my ass! Lick my sweaty blah! I don't know. I don't know. What'd you think of this show? Oh, you didn't watch it. We're gonna have more natty videos for you. We promise. We'll have enough natty videos to make a playlist. <laughs> that. Gonna be, I don't know if anyone's gonna watch them. There's gonna be a playlist of Natty videos, and I'm gonna put commercial breaks we in the videos. We will have videos for you this weekend. I don't know. Fuck something. Who are we fucking? Cody, Cody Rhodes? Rhodes. Right.